I, I tend to collect a lot of different um, bits of nature. There are, um, at the moment I'm quite interested in things that connect, like natural connectors, like wild roses have these uh, 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 tentacles, would that be a technical term? To connect them to other plants, to support them. And then they, they're, as objects, almost look like a, a piece of writing. They've got, so that they almost look like their own sort of text. And then I think that the flowers are talking to me. <laughs> So I just get interested in things like that. So this, this whole sort of section over here is just, they're almost a bit like actors waiting to participate in, in something. Um, I collect a lot of things from the street, elastic bands, um, the tops of cigarette packets, and, and lots of sort of natural things. And I think often when things are taken apart as well, they reveal a different uh, thing about themselves. When I was younger, I was like making small gardens uh, in my pie gardens and it has that same sense of um, scale I guess that you just find things and then they can become something more um, large scale or ep epic. So this is a um, piece that I made for a commission in New York and there was a secret garden in one of the stained glass windows in, in the church. And I like this idea that someone had painted this thing that nobody else could see for themselves. It must have been a glass restorer. And I like this idea of trying to have hidden elements and um, magnifying something small. So the, um, a lot of the elements were found uh, around about the garden in the church or in Lloyd Park on my way to school. And then other bits have been made like the grass is um, glass and that's been that's been made and most elements some elements are obviously real and others are transparent so that they uh, they can give you the color within the piece okay so the sound for this piece is also important so I've got these chimes just I quite like the way the fan generates a type of weather. You know, that the work that this, the place that this is going to is, the title of the show is Synthetic Landscape, so it's all about kind of constructing landscape and I like, I like the idea of being able to bring the wind with you. <laughs> I'm often working with glass. This is like a dichroic glass, so it's got the different project it projects different colours and reflects um, a secondary colour. When I was in, in New York, someone was telling me about the king visiting, and everybody had to put out their favourite fabric, their best fabrics and clothes on the street to line the street. And um, I think this sprang from that kind of partly from these medieval windows I was looking at, but also this sense of a patchwork of, of colour, and it seemed like something that would reflect. That, that kind of idea. The ideas often come through those sort of conversations and um, interactions, you know, just different sort of narratives that people tell me. So the piece that's on the art trail cover was made for a show in London at the end of last year where I was making a glass garden within this Georgian house and using overhead projectors to um, get these small scale bits of uh, plants and glass grass to project up over. Um, it was a really lovely deep blue wall. Um, so there were, that was kind of the projectors hidden behind a screen so often there's something to discover um, that's quite small scale. So if you would like to see a tiny glass garden, hear some sounds like this, um, see some water, interact with the space, meet lots of interesting artists within our building, Please come 16th to 18th of June and get involved with the art trail.